Ladies and gentlemen, this is a huge moment. Modrins just released the open beta version of their own app. I have been waiting for this for so long and I am really, really excited. So far we have had launches like MultiMC and PolyMC, which is the one I personally use, where you can go ahead and add an instance and then you can choose CurseForge or they have also added support to a ModRinth. But now ModRinth has their own client, which I'm very excited about. Now, if you don't know what ModRinth is, it's basically an open source alternative to CurseForge and it has been growing. I believe it started around 2020 and they have been growing. They have tons of mods, like I am in the mod section now and they have already 498 pages, 20 per page. So you can do the math on that one. I believe that's actually over around, yeah, I believe that's around 10,000 mods. Not only that, they also have mod packs, data packs, plugins, resource packs and shaders, stuff like that. And when in the mods category, you can take off open source only. Remember, ModRinth is, a, is an open source project. If you go to the ModRinth uh, website and then go to the bottom, ModRinth is open source and you can see everything that they do on their GitHub page. But yes, they have made their own launcher and it's actually pretty cool. Now I should say the launcher is for Linux, Windows and Mac. All three platforms are supported. Just remember that it is still in open beta. One quick thing that I forgot to mention as well here on the app page. If you scroll down, you can see all the app features, etc. However, there is one that I forgot to mention and that is this. Performance. The ModRinth app performs better than many of the leading mod managers using just 150 megabytes of RAM. This I find really important because when you get to lower end hardware, especially playing Minecraft, especially playing modern Minecraft, I should say, RAM is really, really critical. So having a launcher that actually uses this, this little is huge. Anyway, back to pass me. Now this is the home screen of the app. We can go into the search section here and we can basically browse the entire ModRinth website essentially you can have mod packs mods data packs etc just like on the website and then you have the library this is my library right here and i have been testing this a little bit so these two uh instances right here are two mod packs that i downloaded from uh the library here when you go into the search section you automatically get directed to the mod packs tab and all you do is basically just click install that's simple, very easy. You can also make your own instances by pressing the plus tab. So if you want to make your own mod pack, for example, you can do custom, you can select an icon, give it a name, etc. And when you've done that, you can actually right click or sorry, you need to go to it and then you can actually export the mod pack, which then gives you a file that you can then upload to the ModRinth website. I assume eventually they will add a feature where you can do it directly from the client without even needing the website. But for now, this is the way you do it. And yet, other than then having to fill in the description and stuff like that. It's actually pretty simple. Now you may notice that I have Vault Hunter's third edition here and that is because I actually imported that from another launcher. So that's something you can do as well. If you press the plus button, you can import from launcher and then you just do path to launcher and you can choose between the multi MC launcher, uh, AT launcher, CurseForge, etc. I personally use PolyMC. And so all I have to do is basically add this here, refresh and because PolyMC is a clone of multi-MC. It still works, even though it's not in this particular list, but it now sees all of my different profiles that I have on PolyMC. So let's say I wanted to import my instance for the Rample SAP Season 3. I can click that and I just import that. Boom. And that is. All right, so I had a little bit of a glitch there after I imported it and went to the mod section. It said there was no content. I waited a little bit, I deleted it and I re downloaded I re-imported it and boom, they're here now. Again, remember it's open beta, they're still working on squashing all the bugs, etc. But here we go, in the mods tab, I can see all the mods that I have. I can update the mod pack, I can add more uh, mods as well if I wish. I also have access to the instance logs and also the options for this specific instance. Such as changing the Java versions, how much memory, etc. And considering this is open beta, this is huge. I'm really in love with this. Also, the launcher is open source. Everything like the ModRinth website and the launcher is open source. And for me, that is a very big win. I may have noticed that I am not on Windows. I am on Linux. And one issue that exists, if I just show you with the CurseForge launcher, because I have that installed as well, just because I wanted to try and test stuff. Uh, as soon as I launch this and log in, etc. Oh. Minecraft's not a game, apparently. It, it, it's not here. <laughs> they have CurseForge app for Linux, but Minecraft is not part of it. Like, why? 
Why is that not a thing? I, I, why? <laughs> it doesn't make sense. So yeah, Mudrint has their own client now. It's available for Linux, Windows and Mac. It's open beta. Go check it out if you haven't done so already. If you're a huge fan of the Mudrint project, I certainly am. I'm very excited about this and I cannot wait to see what features they add moving forward. But it was just a quick little video featuring the Mudrint client. I was just so excited about the release that I thought, you know what, I'm going to make a video about this. So if you enjoyed the video, found it informative, helpful, any of that stuff, be sure to leave it a like, helps out the channel a ton. And while you're doing that, you might as well subscribe if you haven't yet. You know, the button is literally like one centimeter or just... Yeah, just, just do it. But anyways, that's it from this one. Hope you enjoy it, and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, have a wonderful day, and goodbye.